top 10 snacks which are worst for diabetes. The most important part of the healthy diet for people with diabetes are snacks. If you are a person living with diabetes, snacks are the most essential part of your daily meal plan. Snacks can help to keep your blood sugar level in check, especially if you have a long span between meals. Choosing the wrong snacks can spike your blood sugar levels which can have the long term effects but won't make you feel good short term too. Although all foods can be eaten in small amounts, some foods can really do a number on the blood sugar of a person with diabetes. Knowing which snacks to avoid is a good first step but even better is having a list of what you should grab instead. Let's start the video and try to know the worst snack options for diabetes. The first one is processed meat products. Ultra processed meat products like pepperoni, pastrami and lunch meat can contain significant sodium and saturated fat contributing to high blood pressure and heart disease risk. Instead you can try combining carbohydrates with lean protein or some healthy fats which will help you to keep full without spiking your blood glucose. So reach for cheese and apple slices, fruit topped with nut butter or vegetable sticks like carrots and bell peppers with hummus. The next under our list is cookies. Some cookies are better than others when it comes to diabetes but most are high in sugar and refined grains. If you have a craving for something crunchy or chocolatey, try to grab a cocoa dusted almonds. They are low in sugar, crunchy, taste good and provide heart healthy monosaturated fats and vitamin E. The next under our list is pretzels. Snacking only pretzels in between meals only invites an unwanted glucose spike. Instead of that, it is recommended to team up your pretzels with some nut butter, hummus or a cheese stick to provide some slower digesting nutrients and a more balanced snack. The next snack item in our list is candy bars. These are lower in fiber and protein. A sugary snack will leave you looking for more sugar soon after. The goal is to choose a snack with fiber and protein to help you to stabilize your blood sugar and leave you feeling satisfied after the snack. Instead of that, you can try to have a high fiber granola bar for a blood sugar stabilizing snack. The other snack item is a baked potato chips. This is a typical snack food like puffed or baked potato chips are not at all good for snacking with diabetes. The starch used in these foods is mainly refined cups. All the work is done for you so as they quickly dissolve, you want more and there is no fiber or bulk to slow down a blood glucose spike. Even though they may sound healthier since they are baked, they are not a good choice for people with diabetes. Instead of that, try to opt for real whole foods like salted pistachios which can help you to satiate a potato chip craving since they are crunchy and salty too. The next standard our list is coffee drinks. If you are planning on getting that special coffee with a caramel, chocolate sauce and whipped cream on your snack break, you may want to think again. These drinks can weight in up at 600 calories and also have a hefty dose of saturated fat and added sugar. People with diabetes are at a higher risk for cardiovascular disease and should opt for a heart healthy diet which is lower in saturated fats. The amount of carbohydrates including sugar found in most of these beverages can also send blood sugar levels through the roof. And most importantly, the people don't fill up from drinks. So you'll likely need something to eat too. Instead of that, try to consume a plain cup of coffee which is hot or even iced with a splash of milk. If you're hankering for flavored Ask for just one pump of syrup in your drink to cut down on sugar. The next under our list is flavored yogurts. These are not the best choice for people with diabetes. They contain from 26 to 30 grams of carbohydrate per serving. Instead of that, try to choose one serving of plain Greek yogurt that provides 6 to 10 grams of total carbohydrate and 12 to 23 grams of protein and top it up with fruits, berries, mango or a peach to add some natural sweetness to your yogurt. The next under our list is crackers. These are made with fiber rich grains. But try to reach out for crackers without any fiber. Low fiber crackers may seem healthy if they have whole grains on the label. Doesn't mean that they aren't full of sugar and refined carbohydrates. These sorts of crackers can lead to spikes in blood sugar and should be avoided too. Instead of that, try to reach for a high fiber cracker that is lower in net carbohydrates like Waza crackers. You can always check the nutrition facts panel and compare labels to see which is the best choice available for you. The next under our list is dried fruits. Dried fruit contain fiber and nutrients but the dehydration process removes water leaving the dried fruit smaller, sweeter and easier to eat 
more of compared to the fresh varieties. Certainly snacking on dried fruit is better than eating a donut or a cookie, but eating a few handfuls on its own can increase the blood sugar levels dramatically. Also, many dried fruit contains added sugar, so be sure to check the labels. Instead of that, try to consume fresh fruits which are high in fiber and which also helps you to control the spikes of the blood sugar. Pair your fresh fruit with some nut butter or a protein food like peanut butter or an almond butter or string cheese to help to keep you satisfied. So friends, these are top 10 worst snacking options for diabetes. Thanks for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you have any doubts, Comment in the section below.